All right, guys, so we're back for match number four. This is a little crazy keep. If we draw a red land, we do have the magma jet, and we are on the draw. The issue is if we mulligan the, f like, six, we have all the cards we want in this matchup, too. I mean, we don't actually know what we're playing against. We have a magma jet to find things, chain rock in case, um, an extra ten points of burn waiting in the ra waiting in the wings. It's a pretty good hand with a mute of all. It just needs a red source. I'm actually going to go ahead and keep this one. Uh, it's not super conventional to keep it, but I'm going to say keep it. Let's see what our opponent here plays. So our opponent leads off with a tapped overgrown tomb. Not really sure what to think there. Red source? Oh, getting punished. So we have to just lead with the mutaval here. Um, leading with the planes doesn't really help us. Yes, we could draw a red source, but it's not like we have a Boros charm to cast anyways. And this leaves us open to being a lot of different decks. Yeah, that uh that keep without a mountain wasn't wasn't my smartest idea ever. Sylvan Carry did. Alright, so we're playing against a deck we want to play against, which is like slow and steady mountain. There we go. Alright, right on time. Welcome to the party mountain. So we're gonna have to magma jet him end of turn. Um I don't actually Ooh, junk something? It's like the Conley Woods brew, maybe? Pelucranos, I have a feeling. Whip of Erebos. God. All right, well, that's not terrible as we have lots of skull cracks. Ooh, shock and ash zealot. Ash zealot's not useful. Shock is also not extraordinarily useful. I don't know why I was so excited about those bad cards. I mean, I guess one of the things we could have done with shock is we could have attacked with the mutavolt and then shocked him still. Um, so we could have gotten in four that turn, but I think waiting to Boros Charm him end of turn here is probably better, and then keeping Skullcrack up, although we're going to have Skullcrack up plenty in time for any whip activations he may have. Uh, we also have, like, we can also, like, chain Skullcrack next turn, so that's not an issue. I really, I really have no idea what I'm playing against right now, by the way. I assume it has, like, voice or resurgences and, like, large monsters. But other than Brimaz. Alright, I guess. That's cool. Whatever. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm playing against. I think he just took all of his favorite cards and jammed them in a deck. You hear someone laughing. It's my friend Donnell. Say hi, Donnell. You got a coin in my mouth. Oh, yeah, he's eating dinner. All watching me burn people out here. Alright, so, Spark Trooper, that's not terrible. Alright, yeah, so I think we're actually just chaining to the rocks, as they say. Um, so now we can get in for two. We have ten points in our hand, so getting in for two now may actually be very useful. Is this the one that's not summoning sick? I have no idea which one's ever summoning sick. Yeah, sweet. Easy two. So now we have 10 in our hand. And I guess this counts as 16. I don't know. Chances are he's not going to have a haste creature. Although he could attack with the Mutavolt if he just needs to get in. Uh, but, I mean, I'm much more scared of other things, I presume. Ooh, he actually missed that Mutavolt attack, which I am very happy about. So now we have double skull crack up, so we can double skull crack him, War Leader Celix him win the game. Which seems like it's gonna be the plan. We also can like throw in Spark Trooper, you know, for the little gotchas, but whatever. What's he doing right now? I have no idea what he's doing right now. Abrupt decay? Okay, well that's actually fine because we have skull crack. A little card called Skull Crack. And yes, like even though I could have just skull cracked pre combat, I'm gonna make him tap. Everything, just because I mean like that, I suppose. 
Yes, I know you get like tokens and stuff. I'm very aware. I know I take a bunch of damage. So is there any way he could gain life like at instant speed? I don't think so. There's that like seven that like seven life gain card from RTR it, like cost two mana, but I don't think anyone's ever played that ever in their lives, so I'm not worried. Alright, well we're gonna show him we're gonna choose to show him Boros Charm here. Uh, just because, like, he already knows that we have it. He doesn't know that we have Warlator's Helix. We're going to show him that. And on to sideboarding. So, this deck... You really want to play these Anger of the Gods here. I'm not sure how good Spark Trooper is or Shock. Because we didn't see anything that we could Shock. Um, also going to bring in some Storm Wreaths, I think. They're pro-white, and they're just four damage on a stick, which is everything that we want. Um, not sure about Ash Zealots, actually. So we may bring in Mortars? Yeah, that seems right. So bring out the four Ash Zealots. Bring in two Mortars, a Storm Breath. You know what, Spark Trooper wouldn't have been the worst there. We can bring him in. Maybe some supplemental life gain will happen. How's that corn treating you? Delicious. <laughs> Broke college students gotta do what they gotta do. That's accurate. That is why I make magic videos, I suppose, because I have nothing else to do. Yeah. All right. So we are not gonna mulligan this beautiful opener. Um. So this is that one of those situations where you could lead with the mutable, but I think. So if we have Boros Charm, are we even Boros Charming him next turn? Probably not. Okay, we can lead with the mutable. Fine. I've been convinced. So this is a voice hand or something? Yeah, it had to be a voice hand. Uh, ooh. Tricky. So now we have to do all of our playing on our turn, which we don't enjoy very much, obviously. Skullcrack, Skullcrack. I think we just leave them both on top. Like, that seems fine to me. We're hopefully going to be able to go Phoenix, Helix, Stormbreath, Dragon, kill him here. That is ideally our, our curve. Um, so let's see if it works, I guess. I don't know. Helix should put in some work. If he plays another Voice of Resurgence here, we could be in a little bit of trouble. If he plays like a Sylvan Karyatid, I'm much happier. Scavenging Ooze. Um, also a little bit of an issue because it does have the life gain attached to it but because there's nothing in the graveyard and I don't plan on putting anything in the graveyard it may not be as great as he thinks it's gonna be not at all yeah I hope it's not as good so he should go to eight next turn so we should go to six next turn and then we kill him okay so he's gonna abrupt decay Eat it with ooze. Um, attack me for five, put me to thirteen. It's actually reasonably okay with me. The second skull crack. Is that just game? Let's see. So if we attack him for 2 here, he goes to 11. We skull crack him to 8. No, no, no. So if we skull crack him, skull crack him, he goes to 6. Stormbird Dragon's 4, he goes to 3. Yeah, so I think we're still just helixing him here. We still just helix him here. He's going to attack us um, down to 12. And then we're going to storm breath him down to double burn range. And then he's going to die. Another war leader's helix. Well, sometimes when you run hot, you run hot. I guess you could have Doomblade here. 
That's actually a concern. If he has Doomblade, we're in trouble. We're going to need to draw land. Yeah, if he, ha if he has a removal spell, we're in trouble. He doesn't have it. Classic. What is this? Are we dead? If he plays Whip of Erebos, we're dead. It's only 10 damage, buddy. It's only 10. He doesn't play, like, Giant Growth. No. What, could, what pump spells could he play? Could he play a Johnny? That would kill us. Does he need a pump spell? Yeah, he's only at 10 right now. We're at 12. Oh, yeah. He only has 10 damage. He would need, like... He would need, like, an Ajani or something. And he can't attack with too many guys or else he loses to my Mutavolts. So I guess he's planning on playing a creature. So when he taps out for a creature here, then he's just dead. And then we'll cruise to four now. Yeah, so he's going to tap out for a Brimaz. And then he is going to die. All right, well, on to 4-0, I suppose. 